not very mystery unboxing time. I'm very off mic, but um, I'm over here. This is a quick thing. Package has arrived from the future was 8-bit. Um, I kind of know some of which was in here, but I don't know why there's I ordered it stuff and we frankly we talked about so much stuff um recently that i can't remember what could possibly be in here apart from possibly something a mega related because i've bought and paid for that so we're going to open it up and see where we go um EV blog never seems to have these problems opening. Yes, perhaps I just need more practice. That's one side. And the other. Right, here we go then. What have we got in here? Da -da -da. I'm very off mic. I'm standing over this side. This is a quick video. Lots and lots of. Uh, ooh. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Ooh, is that something secret? This is something secret. I've, I've got a feeling this is something secret. Um, so I might not show that. That's what I think it is. I know what this is. Think of which computer manufacturer would put a moulded plug on their computer. I think this is the loan. I think. The lone computer features eight bit storage help, and that hopefully is my Amiga six hundred keyboard membrane that I ordered. So let's put that on the floor. Keep that box because obviously this this is what I think it is. Bang! You have to go back at some point. Actually, I'll probably drive it back. To be fair, right? Let's get a where'd I put those scissors? Let's open this up and see what is involved. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm over here. If you're thinking this sounds crap, but um, I mean, what computer could be this size? What would have a molded plug built into it? What kind of manufacturer would go to that kind of over engineering in an era before that kind of thing was required? <laughs> Be careful I don't damage the what's in here as well. I don't know how he's done this. Has he looped it there? Oh he's looped it there, alright, okay. This must be fascinating to watch. I need a big knife like EV has. Right, let's see what And as many viewers as he has, which I definitely do not have. Right. Singing PRS free songs. So we don't get a copyright match. Here we go, right. Da -da -da -da. Come on. Come on. It's got to be what I think it is. It's got to be what I think it is. I've got it. It's got to be what I think it is. Can you guess what it is? There it is. An Acorn A Archimedes A3000 with keyboard written on there. So you know it's a keyboard or perhaps Future was a bit wrote keyboard on there because it's got a keyboard fault. But he's tested it so it works. It's been inspected by Rod Hull, data 2018. 
Look, got a sticker there. See? Um, yeah, thanks Rod for the loan of this. Um, as people will be aware, I bought one of these um, last year and then uh, it all went horribly wrong because it melted on the inside. But this one hasn't. And this one's had a mod. So I think I can plug in a standard Amiga mouse, but I've got I've actually got an Archimedes mouse there, so I can plug in the buttons. Thanks for Rod the loan of this. It's going to enable me to do some Archimedes type stuff. Um, all sounding good. Is that Mark? Oh no. Someone's marked the back there. I thought it was a crack. DVD might have cracked it, but no, that's all looking good. And that means the other box is definitely my Amiga keyboard membrane, which I'm going to leave in its protective coating for now. Or oh, I should probably check it so it come through, I can suppose. And da, 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 da. Do you open these? Um, Future's A bit is selling Amiga keyboard membranes at the moment, which is handy because my Amiga 600 keyboard membrane. After I installed the GoTech, uh, never worked again. What nothing to do with the GoTech, it was just how, you know, uh, moving it after many years, it packed up. And I have to be very careful opening this because obviously I do not want to tear it because it's very, very delicate. Here it is. And it's, yep, the blue one. That is an Amiga, brand new Amiga 600 um, keyboard membrane. Bring the camera in so you can see that. And that's the blue. I know that looks green, but that is blue. Um, that's the blue one for an Amiga 600. You've got to check which type you have. It's no good just saying, oh, I want a keyboard membrane. There's different types. Um, and Rod has both types in stock. I had to check which one version I had. Um, and yeah, got the blue one. Um, so yeah, I just ordered that up from his website and he popped it along. And good job he noticed it was me actually, because I, I jokingly filled out the mailing form as Alan Sugar Amstrad PLC 169 Kings Road, Brentford, Essex, and so on. Brentwood, Essex, sorry. Um, and of course he realized that was me which was good, because I don't live in Essex. Anyway, yeah, that's all cool. Um, yeah. Thanks to Rod for loaning me the A3000. And uh, I will report back to everyone about how well these membranes work, because I've had to buy one for my A600, which is has a very 40 keyboard indeed.